Today is the last Monday in May. It is Memorial Day, and it commemorates the lives lost while serving in the U.S. military, the ultimate price paid for our freedom. What better person to talk about all of this with than our good friend and historian, Charles McElwee. He is the vice president of the Greater Hazleton Historical Society and Museum. He joins us now. Charles, uh, first of all, happy Memorial Day to you. It is a day that is deep in a lot of tradition and a lot of memory. Right, for the passage of, passage of time, the tradition has gone on in Greater Hazleton. I was struck just going through old newspapers, some of that archival material that you could find, including old plain speakers, which became the Sanders speaker. As early as 1890, when Memorial Day was known as Decoration Day, that tradition that we know in Hazelson, which is that this is a big homecoming weekend for people, not only who live here, but others who have since moved away and often returned to the area this weekend to mark the occasion. And they're going to the local nurseries, they're buying those log flowers and, and putting them on the graves of their grandfathers, uncles, great grandfathers who served in Korea, World War II and other wars. We have a, just an extensive combat record here in the greater Hazleton area. So we're not only honoring those who served and died in war and fighting in combat on Memorial Day, but we're also honoring all our fathers, grandfathers, great grandfathers, our ancestors who served in wars in the greater Hazleton area as early as the Revolutionary War. And you'll find some of those graves, for example, in the valley, or you'll find soldiers who fought in the Mexican American War in St. Gabriel Cemetery. Um, but I was just struck by, for example, the 1890 article in the Plain Speaker, one guy named Ryder Fitzpatrick, who was working at the electric factory or electrical plant in Harrisburg and was from Hazleton, returned, and like so many at that time, as the paper noted, it was an occasion for this diaspora, people who had since moved elsewhere to come home and honor those who had served, fought, and died along with all their ancestors. And I think it's frankly amazing that that tradition continues today, including, yeah, I'm sure for your family as well as mine. Absolutely. As you were saying all of that, I was thinking, I just went uh, last weekend and we went and got the logs and put them on the cemeteries. My father, uh, Joe Ragazzi, served in the U.S. Navy. And then also my father-in-law, Butch Sugart, uh, uh, served in the Army, I believe it was. And uh, so we do that as a, you know, a remembrance of them each and every year. And when you go, there are a lot of people that are out doing the very same thing. This area is truly steeped in that tradition. And we have to remember that we're not just having a day off from work. We're not just having a gathering with our loved ones. If it wasn't for these people that we lost, we wouldn't even be here to be able to do what we're doing today, right? It does seem to be a stronger tradition here, you know, really Northeastern Pennsylvania, not just Greater Hazelson, but a stronger tr tradition compared to elsewhere. And yes, I mean, we're, 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 we're honoring uh, our, 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 our grandfathers. I mean, my, my grandfather, uh, also Charles Mack, we test, he, he was commander, St. Gabriel's Catholic War veterans in every Memorial Day, the march through the cemetery. He and his four brothers served World War II, fought in combat. My, my uh, maternal grandfather, Robert Connors, also served in World War II, buried in Calvary. But you see those, uh, you know, the, the, the markers of the flags where they served and you know, which war they served in. And um, it's an important tradition to continue, but it's also important to remember when we, we visit these cemeteries, you know, the upkeep. It's really important that you know, we, we ensure for posterity. I mean, these are sacred sites that they're well maintained. I think of that uh, the old St. Patrick's Cemetery in Beaverbrook, for example, it was an e Eagle Scout project about a decade ago. The, the cemetery is falling apart, but it was, has since been restored and it's fenced off to protect it. But I mean, we, we have just remarkable historical cemeteries here. And uh, 
you, 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 you drive through and you just you're almost haunted by history there all these familiar names that you know the graves are popping up names are from the 1840s 1830s who were born in ireland and and and, and then you know died in hazelton it's really important to preserve these cemeteries because that's where we all ultimately end up and uh I, I think it's a you know, Memorial Day is a reminder to honor not only those who served, who died, but all our ancestors who live in this, or who did live in this area. Today's news feature is brought to you by Frankie's Pizzeria and Restaurant in downtown Hazleton. For more information on their specials, hours, and where you can find their delicious tavern pizza, you can call 570-454-6000, or you can visit their Facebook page.